More businesses around Spokane are starting to accept a form of currency called Bitcoin. A one shop just started accepting it because banks won't take their money. And KXY4's Ian Cole joins us now live to explain how it all works and why the company is switching. Ian? Well, basically, Nadine, each Bitcoin has a value. You can't touch it or feel it, but it just does. Currently, one Bitcoin is going for more than $800, but you can buy and trade fractions of one. And many people in the marijuana industry are turning to Bitcoin to keep their money secure. You want some Maui? Yeah. <laughs> money isn't hard to come by at Couchlock Medical Marijuana Dispensary. Beautiful. They do just fine and even opened a new location today. But what they can't do is accept credit cards or even put that money into a bank because the product they're selling is federally illegal. It's a major crisis in the medical and newly legal recreational pot business. While the feds are working to find a plan, shop owners aren't holding back. Anybody can buy a Bitcoin and anybody can come spend a Bitcoin here. Each one of the online currency is worth more than $800, but you can buy and sell fractions of one. You can use it anywhere and you don't have to carry cash on you. You have your wallet on your phone. They also believe it's safer and more secure than dealing with cash. When you request money, you just request the amount that you would like and it's going to give you either a Bitcoin amount or you can change it to U.S. dollars. Your Bitcoin money then gets transferred to their Bitcoin wallet within a matter of seconds. Some companies are accepting Bitcoin because it's trendy. The people here think it could be a way of the future in an industry with nowhere to put its money. And it goes directly to your phone. Um, the transaction happens within a matter of 12 seconds. Now, Bitcoin's also kind of like a stock. Its price can rise and fall, but the owners here say it's a risk they're willing to take to try once again and keep their money more secure. Reporting live in North Spokane, Ian Cole, KXLY4 News. Well, thank you, Ian.